For those of you that think that it doesn't rain here in uh, in Las Vegas, got a little storm going through here. Woohoo! She be raining. She be pouring. Anyways, uh, yeah, she's pouring all right. Anyways, well, we got my personal truck in here. Yeah, my little trailer's hooked up. So, um, this is my truck, actually. Yes, for those of you who don't know, I drive a six liter, and I've had it since brand new 2006. And Beto just did me the favor of doing the thermostat. Where's that thermostat at? Um, one thing that um, we talk about in diagnosis consistently is uh, thermostats. Okay, got to do thermostats. So I took this truck to Denver a few weeks ago, did some training out there. And uh, I noticed with my uh, tuner that I got, shh, don't tell nobody I got a tuner. But anyways, I noticed in the tuner that uh, my temperatures would sometimes read 165. Then I hear the fan roaring. Then I hit 208 and the fan would kick on again. I mean, it was all over the place. And uh, take a look at this. This was my thermostat here on this truck. So in other words, the temperature was all over. I wasn't maintaining and my fuel economy has been dropping through time, you know? So will this affect fuel economy? The answer is yes. So uh, definitely guys, um, pay attention to your thermostats and watch your engine coolant temps. If it takes forever to warm up or if it actually stays high, you know, after having pulling, especially a trailer load, take a look at your temperatures and look at your thermostats. So. Quick note, just thought I'd let you know. Again, check your thermostats by looking at your engine coolant temperature. See if it's warming up, and once it warms up, you know, see if it's all over the place, meaning it's fluctuating a lot. And if you're pulling a load and it just goes way over 225, and it's having a hard time dropping down, it could be your thermostat. So there you go. Thanks for watching.